Hey guys, welcome back. Dal King here today. Before, actually. and guys, today <coughs> we're going to be reviewing my race from Saturday, the Sim Grid Monza race. I just wanted to look back just to see where I went wrong, you know, because I kid you not, we had pace to fight for that podium, you know, and it all just went wrong. So, yeah, we're going to watch my, my fastest quality lap. <laughs> Straight away, I noticed my tyre pressures for some reason are low. In the previous run, they were right on right temperature. Something in ACD that I don't know, it happens to me a lot lately. The pressures just are all over the place, you know, they're never consistent. <laughs> just have we got to deal with. I know other people probably struggled with that. As you can see here, two temps up right now. So Baldwin nice. actually did a pole lap of, um, I think it was a 46.5, which I'm pretty sure I could have freaking matched it or been close to. As you can see here, two and a half tenths up. And I just clipped the grass. Just in the wrong angle there. I should have took a little bit more grass and it would have been a lot better. So you can see here now, we probably bleed a tenth <coughs> going down the straight. But we're still two tenths up. Gain on the entry. And then just here, the car just does that. All the bounce. bounce. And that's Fuck. it. We lose all the drive. So now we're we're nearly two temps down oh, on my so on my lap. <coughs> and this will be my fastest lap. Let's see if we can gain any going into the last corner. And again that car just won't stick. We get a tiny bit of understeer. But still a tenth and a half up. So we easily lost two temps here. I feel I feel we could have still might be before I could have fought for a power. I just couldn't yeah. after this I just couldn't seem to match the lap. My tire pressure just went down on the front even more. But yeah, two and a half times off pole. Ball we didn't improve, but yeah, there was definitely, definitely a pole up there. <coughs> Super annoying. So all right, let's skip to the race now, guys. <coughs> and let's just watch, just to see how this, how this race unfolded. We're gonna watch the first few laps. Let's just get the other right here. <coughs> As you see, P11 lifting right now just to make sure we survive turn one. So crucial here. You can see everyone's been pretty cautious, you know. There's everyone's sort of getting on the brakes early. We get it turned in nice and early. Give the guy on the inside enough room. At this point, I'm thinking right now we could probably outrun the Lambo, but he's he's right there. He's right there. Tiny bit of lag. I do try to cover, but I think at this early point in the race, no point. I break, he breaks later, he gets the move done. Oh, nice little, nearly get tapped by a Rognikov. Well, I've got to say, a Rognikov, this race, was driving very clean, very good to see him as well. You know, but we get the move done there on the Aston. We, get, we got bumped wide there a little bit. <coughs> so just. At this point in the race, we're P10 right now, I'm thinking, okay, I know we've got good race pace. <coughs> Rain is incoming as well. So I'm just trying to, um, <laughs> I'm trying to get some temperature into the tyre. We're cracked 16 degrees right now, then. Going into the chicane for the first time here for Ascari, the car wanting to slide. I'm just trying to get a bit of that to my tyre temp. And as you can see, it actually worked a little bit We get a good run here. But again, I knew this was a long race and all three of my teammates, for this race were super friggin' fast dude, right? Like, we were all within the same tenth, and that's that's no joke. It's like it's very rare. Normally there's like a stronger one, medium weaker, like no one's never like well not for us any no, I suppose we have been, but <coughs> like to see all three of us absolutely on it. I've done a lot of practice for this. We felt good, you know. So you can see here right now, I'm not looking to go for the move, I think I even lift a little bit early. I want to stay with a pack because what happened last time in Monza, we, we did a bow quality and we uh and we uh we the pack in front just slip streamed each other and they were gone. We, we had no chance within this P8. So I just wanted to keep everyone in view like this, like how we are now. <coughs> so yeah, let's just let's just see and before the action kicks off, which is very soon. Most of you guys have probably already seen the race, but for the guys who haven't. But like I said, it's a good... I just want a review, and I just want you guys to comment in the section below. If you think I'm in the wrong, or they're in the wrong, I just want to know your opinion on this, because 
I ain't gonna lie, it's been wrecking my brain, you know. A little bit. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. So at this point, everyone's sort of taking it easy. The wet, the rain is coming. You know, the Aston drivers, I'm licking my lips. I'm thinking, dude, we got such good rain packs. Like, we're on a sort of full wet setup. And our drive pace is insane. Like, the car was just, this setup, I've got to say, probably one of the best setups I've driven for the Aston. So quick, as you can see, people get too wide up ahead. And it, right now, I think there's a little bump from the Nissan there that puts Malinowski across the grass. But then I'm not too sure what happens here. Then there's a little lag, and I take too much of the curb on the inside, and I cut the I cut the gravel. So yeah. So Samir, I'm oh, sorry, it must have been Samir who got um, we got pushed here. We managed to get past him though. But we lost the place. We're still in P10 right now. <coughs> I'm, I'm, no, it wasn't Malinowski, sorry. It was uh, Samir Ibrahim, Ibrahimi, who got a little bump from the Nissan going into the Scari, pushing him wide. <coughs> so he lost all the drive right there. So that's the first bit of action. And then and then there's a massive bit of drama, which, which to be fair, I didn't see at the time. So this is, this is another thing as well. It was only me in, in the car. <clears throat> no fault of anyone else's. Everyone's the people couldn't be there, and we I missed this. I uh, where is it? Simonini, okay. So Simonini right now just breaks too late. Absolutely kills these two guys. But I didn't know at that time it was Simonini who did this. Okay, so I just sort of come to the chicane and I see a couple of people. Off. I'm thinking right now it's the Miss and and guys are telling me the Nissan and, and the Aston, I see the Aston in front of me, you know, been in, been in an issue. <coughs> we do go for the move, he does cover very late though. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go around the outside here. And then the Lambo hits, and there's a little bump, and the Lambo gets spun there. Not much we could do, and then Samir gets a run on me. Me. I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to be cautious still right now. The main thing is, I want to catch that front group up. Like I said, slipstream very important around this track because you can gain nearly three, four tenths of lap being in, being in a train of cars, you know. So, yeah. <coughs> sorry, I'm really sorry about the coffee, though. <coughs> I'm super under the weather. Super under the weather here, Trying to stop the coffee. Which is horrible as well. But at this point of the race, I'm thinking, okay, we're P9. I can see everyone in front of me. Let's just head down now. I was just going to try and push Samir along. I know the Rocknikov would be fast as well. Um, let's see. Let's see how, how we get on. Fast forward a little bit. On the track. So the rain is imminent. Like, it's coming. And here it is. And here comes the rain right now. So now every Aston, this is every Aston's driver's dream, right? Rain at Monza. <coughs> and we see a Rognikov pitting early. And this worked out to be a great move. A Rognikov actually jumped me by quite a bit. He actually, I think he gets both of us. I can't remember, but I know I pit next lap. <coughs> the, the thing with following someone in, in the wet especially, they could break super early, you could break late. And there could be a, a, a contact. So I was thinking, okay, next lap, I'm going to go in. There's a little bit of a gap to the, to the cars ahead, but we're P8 right now. So yeah, but keep in mind the thing that happened with Simonini as well, because that will come into play later on. So at the minute, car's a little bit oversteering, a little bit slippery. But as you can see, we're gaming on the car ahead. Um, so I mean, it's staying out, which I thought was very odd. Like, I absolutely nailed a pit entry right now. And then let's fast forward this. <laughs> to it. And as you can see, everyone's right in front of me. And there is Simonini right in front of me right now. And I think we're going to see a Rognikov come flying past. There he is. And he gets Simonini. As well, obviously after the damage. But I didn't know that. I just thought we had a bad pit stop. <coughs> so maybe if I'd gone in, the, in that lap before, I would have jumped Simonini. And maybe I stayed out of all the drama. So, let's just let's, let's recap. Simonini obviously did that move. He's caused that contact with them two cars, so he knows he's getting a drive through as well. He knows it, he, he's late break, he, he killed two cars. <coughs> also with the Nissan, there's probably going to be a penalty, obviously at the time. 
obviously I didn't have no one with me relaying the information, so I didn't really know as well at this point. So I think I'm sort of fighting for, for position. You know, she's fair enough. So, let's fast forward. And as you can see, our wet pace is just... My wet pace is absolutely crazy. And as we come back out of the pits, we've, we've jumped the pools right there. <coughs> I think we're sitting P8 right now. Just waiting for the timing to update. <coughs> I gotta say as well, like the back markers were actually pretty spot on. Were pretty spot on. And as we see another Audi going wide there, I think that was Malinowski and Sherat right there getting into it a little bit. I'm not too sure what happened. So that so the Lambo in front is a back marker. And then we got 8th, 7th and 6th, all coming up in front of us. And then just in front of them is Shira and Malinowski. So let's see. And as we see here, the, uh, the Lambo letting me buy, which is absolutely great news. As you can see, pulling up so much on the braking zone compared to these other cars right now. I was just feeling so comfortable, like, like I said, we've done a lot of practice. <coughs> and the car felt on point on point so I've got tyres I've over pressured tyres by way too much <coughs> I think at this point we're like 31 psi 30, 32 at some point so I'm trying to just, just get as much water as I can on the tyres just to keep them cold and now here we go with Simonini and Lezzy and the Evan Nissan I have my side right now a Rokhnikov just getting away so maybe if I had, if I had pit at the same time as the Rokhnikov Maybe I would have jumped these steps. That's definitely something I'm going to keep in mind, you know, in, in, these, in these weather transitions, especially in cold temps. Probably pitting earlier would have been a better thing. And as we see there, Simonini going wide. And, and the, 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 the uh, Nissan's line there was so weird. It was so, like, out wide to cut back. But obviously gets the drive, and he gets past Simonini again. I think Simonini probably gives the uh, position back right there because of the cut. <coughs> But as you can see, we're still right, right with everyone. We can see Jordan and Malinowski just in front of us right there. <coughs> so side by side they go again, and here I look to the inside. And he's cut off Simonini trying to get underneath the, uh, the Nissan. The Nissan covering. Here I think, okay, maybe we can get a good run here. So I tried, but I just cut down a little bit too early. Hit the curb, but we still get an okay run. And there we go, DT for the Nissan. So I was like, okay, we're definitely going to pick up this position right now. Simonini defending. Goes deep on the brakes here. And at this point, I thought I probably could go around the outside, maybe to hold the inside, but at this early point in the race, I was thinking, don't want to get a penalty, you know, like I was saying, just trying to, trying to play it smart. Gives a little flash there. <coughs> Defends again to the inside. Sort of laying off the brake here. So we want to try and cut back underneath to get to the inside. As you see the Audi just gets that good exit into the toe of the Nissan right now. But we're into the slipstream. Here we go. Over to the left. He's going to defend the inside. So who's going to break later? I go late on the brakes. He leaves me room. I leave him a little tap on the inside. A little bit of a tap there, but I think I don't think I did anything <coughs> wrong there. I feel like he turned in a little bit early. A little bit over there, as you can see, I'm on the apex. And now we have a run. So <coughs> keeping in mind as well, this guy knows he's probably going to get a drive for or a stop and go, but for killing the two guys. So I have the inside here, and I just want to go, we're just going to go real time. It's toggle, and then we're going to look back at it in replay. So he goes very deep on the brakes into the outside, and to me, it, it looks like he's going off the track, and then over the curb, and we get here. At this point, I'm pretty mad. 
at this point, I'm pretty mad right now. And this is where I start to lose my core cool a little bit. And I don't normally, I do get mad, but I normally keep my head in it. And then this. There's a guy on the inside, and we get spun round. Hit again, and we're off. And it, it, it just really goes downhill. It really spirals from here. You know, so we're going to watch <coughs> the incidents now from here. And I just want to get, like, comment in a sec, comment down below. Just tell me what you think as well. Like, I'm not judging, saying anything bad about Simonino. Like, the geezer's really fast, you know. But I, I just feel like he knew he was going to get a drive through. Like, I understand you don't want to give up the position. But at this point, he goes so late on the brakes. Like, I feel like he should have just took the runoff, you know. <coughs> I feel like he, even if I had left more space, even on the outside, he would have... So he hits the curb anyway. So even if I was out here, I think it still would have hit me. And then, yeah, then, then we have the after effect. But I just felt like it was very hard defending the song he was going to get a penalty anyway. And then as we're going along... Yeah, this happens. So... <coughs> the 72 getting caught out there. He's trying to go to the inside. The Aston goes to the inside. I'm still there. And then the Aston the sort of pulls left. There's a car there. Which tags me around. And then, as we can see, there's nothing I can do. I'm just sliding across the track. And, yeah, we get hit. Hit again. And it's just, yeah, it's one big mess. One big friggin' mess right now. Nothing, there's nothing I could really have done then, in, in my opinion, you know. But yeah, this, this, this is just where the drama starts right now. So now I want to fast forward a little ways until we get behind the Audi. But I feel like the defending from, from the 32 and Matteo is very questionable. In my opinion, like, again, comment down below what you think of this. So he defends the insides, I go to the outside, and then what he would do, he would come right across. Not like that time was fine, but just keep watching. In the braking zone, to open up his entry. <coughs> to defend him. So I feel like that's moving twice in the braking zone. Like, again, comment down below, see what you think. So he, he you can see right now, we're sort of side by side, I have a lot of damage. You can see the Audi, it's really getting away from me. Leg pretty bad. So he's defending the inside, like we nearly I'm nearly alongside. And then he started doing this where he would break and then like cut across. Which which was making me break earlier. When I could have broke a lot later, you know. Let's have, let's have a look what happens down in turn one. Okay, he's, defend he's made it clear he's defending the inside. And then I'll go to the left. That was okay though, that one. Here we go again. <coughs> and at this point, we're back up to P12 right now. After whatever's happening, you know. So I'm in the slipstream. He's staying to the right. He's defending the inside. And then again, he'll move left in the braking zone. You know, like... He, and he did this a number of times. I just don't think it's not on, you know? If you're going to defend the inside, you can't, like, all the way across in the braking zone. You know? Maybe I was just getting angry for no reason, but I just feel like... Like I said, just comment below. See what you guys think. So again, you see, he clearly moves right to defend. And then I move left. Like... <coughs> so 
I gave him another run. <coughs> and then look at that, like, like, he nearly puts me on the grass, like, I have to break out of it, like, he's not leaving no room. Like, to me, that's, you know, me getting frustrated now about it. And he kept doing this. I just don't think that's all. I really don't. But like I said, am I wrong? Am I right? But like, I feel like that's moving in the braking zone. Like you can't defend. And then and then move back across. It's super dangerous, especially in the wet, you know, just waiting for an instant. <coughs> Again, I'm trying to be patient right now. Yeah, and he's sort of in the middle of the track. So he defends here again, as you can see. I go to the left, and then again. Like... Yeah, I just... I, I just don't know what to make. Like... <coughs> of this. You know? So again, going down into turn one, we've got a slipstream. He's sort of in the middle of the track again. Moves over to the left. That's what he sends it on the Lambo. Pushes the Lambo out of the way here. And I have nowhere to go. Again, pull. Like, again, like this. <laughs> Look how late this is right now. So, like, this is in real... So he's on the curb, he sees me going to the outside, watch how late he moves. Yeah, but he's so late. So then we make the move on him. And then, uh, one lap later this happens. <coughs> so this is the next lap. You know. So the Ferrari's got passed. So we're off back up to P11 now. <coughs> We've got like 20 seconds of damage or something. And then uh and then this 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 really triggered me. This really triggered me. Break super late. Hits the Ferrari into us and around we go. And at this point, at this point, if I was on track, I think I would have got out the car and wanted to fly and kick him, you know. <laughs> like I can sim kick, you know. <laughs> or something, you know, just uh yeah, the super unhappy right now. Again, I felt like just unlucky on, on the wrong end of this thing. But guys, comment down below. Like, what do you think of that defending? Like, is that legal? Or is that not legal? Like, <coughs> let me know. Tell me what you guys think of that. Um, or am I just being a bit too hot-headed? You know, I just need to get stuck it up a little bit and, and, and get on with it. We ended up finished the race in 14th. We did end up coming together again with Matteo. Is this, and yeah, that's, oh, you can tell, I'm so angry, I'm talking to the chat, I'm just raging. It, this race should have been so good for us, and it turned out to be, at a point I just wanted to get out of the car, you know, and it, I shouldn't have that mentality, maybe the car was setting in, I don't know. <coughs> but thank you to the guys, we recovered P14 on the day, not too bad after all the incidents we had, we had as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, comment down below what you think, and uh, yeah, see you, see you guys next week, bye bye.